So if you get shot in one and then and you and you get shot in two, now that leaves zero. Okay, so how you twerking two days? How trouble. you twerking two days know. later? I'm if you got, do you know what? Have you ever been shot? Have you? I've never, I've never been shot, Nikki. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I know, I, I know people that have been shot. I know people that got that, that shoot. Okay. Now let me tell you what the Yo, fuck don't. Ha let I'm me tell you fine. what the fuck don't happen two days after a bitch get shot in two hoofs. Uh, twerking on 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 socials. First of all, emotionally, even emotionally, you just got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, no. But, however, the point is, you know what really grinded my fucking gears, guys? What grinded my gears was when Doodle on the Beats, um, uh, 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 they or uh, them, I, I've never met in my life, right? Got him on Twitter, started bragging about him not clearing a beat for Nicki Minaj. So, while people were acting unbothered on socials and while Desiree Perez was doing, was the bots. Oh my God. We have screenshots of the YouTube bots. It's crazy. Leo, if Leo, you better, I, be, be, don't, Leo, don't play with me, nigga. I, I hope you ain't around that company no more right now. Cause yeah. And so. It, no, wait, hold on, Joe. Hold on, hold on, Joe. Hold on, hold on, Joe. Hold on, hold on. Uh, between the YouTube bots and the Twitter ads and um and um the paid for TikToks and the paid for tweets to the point where people got their little two hundred and fifty dollars for the for they tweet to say something bad about Nicki Minaj and then the next day it was like bitch yeah I, anyway I'm gone right I'm listening to book book. So I don't know why anybody of that, and I'm and I'm not talking about any rapper. I'm talking about a company or companies. Why would they want to prove everything I've been saying is true? Because what happens is, if a, if you tell if if you already make a smear campaign to market and tell people somebody is quote unquote crazy, then you are you are training them not to believe whatever this person says. So why would Doodle on the Beats that night come out like a dummy on the beats and prove my point? Oh, and, and you know what, 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 what the barbs do? Oh, once, once, a, once one point Nikki say has been proven, oh, they will go back for the last 50 years and, and research some shit. And they will realize, oh, wow, they've been doing this, they've been doing that, they've been doing this. And now you ask yourself, why? So if you think this is an issue between two rappers, you're wrong. This is a, this is a dialogue between me, the machine, and a bunch of different machines having to come together constantly, using different people. When one fails, let's go somewhere else and try to. It never, it never works. But that's the point that I wanted the world to see, and that it's gonna be sympathy again. It's gonna be nonsense again, and nobody will right, ever so respect that night, in rap. Nikki was on the rampage and went on this. I don't know what's going on, but there was a lot of clout really given to her and it was just weird so i'm guessing just like the cat williams situation we got we are going to be we are going to be hovering hovering around the nikki and meg situation for a bit and joe biden last night played uh the song the original beat to the bigfoot diss track and I gotta say, it does really kind of sound better. Still not fire, still not better than Megs, but it does sound, it does sound better than that nonsense that she dropped. Um, yeah, and then she went on Twitter Spaces 
It drove out into her Twitter spaces and then she had a lot. She had a mouthful. She had a lot to say. And there's a lot, guys. There's really much a lot. And then she claimed that she doesn't do uh, uh, no drugs. She, hey, guys, it's too much. It's a lit. It's a lit, dog. Uh, you know, me, I'm just reporting. I don't got no, no horse in this race. Uh, I'm just reporting. What do you guys have to say about this? Like, do you, do you feel like this is stupid? Do you feel like they should let it go? Or do you feel like this is good for the culture? Because the culture cannot be quiet. Benzema is dissing Eminem. I think we can... Actually, no. We cannot. We cannot entertain those guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fam. But, yeah. I get... I, let me tell you something, guys. There is always something. There is always something, bro. There is always... Every week... Every week, there is there is literally something every week to talk about. This is the fam. Subscribe to the channel.